Hey folks and welcome to another Irish Whiskey Review with me, Marty McCauley. I uh, hope everything finds you safe and well. We are on part three of the Spot family and as I said in the last one, this week, this week, this review we are going to do Yellow Spot. Now, Yellow Spot is the third of the siblings up here and Retails about seventy pounds a bottle. Bottled at forty six percent. So again, as all the range are, it's a pot still. It's bourbon cask, sherry cask, and Malaga cask. Now, the one thing I will say about all of the the spot range is they are extremely well crafted but they should be they're from irish distillers the spot range are from the same family that make red breast jameson and i've just off the top of me i can't even remember now uh, they make pars all of that stuff's all made down in middleton Pretty much it, but most of the big brands, Boring, um, Bush Mills, and I'll let you in a little secret, Bush Mills and Middleton used to share, still share, lots of spirit with each other, depending on what it is they're making. Now, my point there is, they know their craft, they know what they're doing, they're... They're, they're the leading experts in Ireland at what they do. Sometimes when people are, or companies are big, um, Irish distillers is huge in comparison to the rest of Ireland uh, in terms of whiskey. For every one bottle that's sold of Bushmills, Tullamore Dew, um, Cooley brands, all of the... Um, West Cork and, and Waterford and all the new distilleries, Irish distillers will sell eight bottles. They're they're just a totally different class, you know, they're they're a totally different league, you know, they're just massive. So they do know what they're doing, obviously. So they're they're well crafted whiskies. But once a company gets that big, they, they get the iconoclasts, the, the, the people who automatically think I must criticize them. Because, you know, go after them. I don't tend to be like that. I, I, I tend to always think that if you're, if you're big, there's a reason you're big. It's a bit like Amazon. People are, oh, don't be buying off Amazon. Don't be buying off Amazon. Amazon this, and, and there's lots of, lots of reasons not to buy off Amazon. There's also lots of reasons to buy off Amazon. If you're buying certain products... And you'll know this yourself. You're not actually buying off Amazon. You're buying off independents who sell via Amazon who can do really, really well. There's lots of stuff that you can get on Amazon that you won't be able to buy locally. They do massive bargains. For example, I bought two bottles of Johnny Walker Red Label a while back for £14. I mean, it's just... There's, there's no way I, I you can buy that anywhere else at that price so you don't look a gift horse in the mouth whenever you can see decent whiskies for sale for next to nothing and you buy them i mean red label is not my favorite whiskey by any stretch of the imagination but my point is you're buying these things because they are providing you with a decent service Irish distillers were the entire Irish whiskey market for a period of time. So they they basically got to dictate, for good or for bad, and loads of people will tell you it's the most horrendous thing ever, but they kept Irish whiskey alive. Now, the consequence of that is they then become sort of very dominant in the market, and now that there's so many emerging whiskey brands, that's a little bit of a hindrance and going forward you can see where there's going to be massive arguments but as it currently stands they are the big ones 
and they do make good whiskies, lots of them. So when you pick this up, you automatically think, judge it for itself, you know? Now, that coming through, there's, there's, the yellow spot that's slightly, it's different than the other two, it's coming through quite honeyed. There's a sweetness, but it's not, it's not the same, um, fresh fruit sweetness or, or the sort of saccharine sweetness that there was in the blue spot. It's, it's a, it's a more developed honey sweetness. Um, there's a little bit more spice to this on the nose. You're getting, you're getting a clove. Yeah, there's a there's a clove note coming through there, which it, when when you kind of think of pot still, you're wanting that spice, and it, this is delivering it sort of up front. It's delivering it to you. Uh, as just as you arrive sort of thing yeah there's there's actually an almost an, a, an ozone nose to this you know sometimes when you're standing at the sea and it's not the briny note it's not the briny note it's that it's that sort of fresh oxygen note that you get the, the, the ozone where you can smell it's a clean fresh note that you, that you, a lot of the time you get it just at the sea it's where that's where you pick it up yeah yeah it's again there's a, there's a lot of fruit here but it's not it's not as fruity as well really as the as the other two previous ones if i'm honest yeah there's, e there's even a, a like a floral note to it. Um, without it being, it's not maybe floral, it's maybe sort of vegetative. Uh, yeah. It, it, it's kind of hard to describe it. it it's, it's like a vegetal note along with that sort of fresh ozone. So it's, it's kind, of, it's kind of a very fresh note, but it's not fruit. The fruit isn't necessarily there. There's a spice there. There's a freshness there. There is, as I say, that clean, honeyed, fresh cut, not, not great, fresh cut hay maybe. It's that, it's that kind of note to it. It's really nice. It's really nice. Yeah. Quite creamy. It's got... On the tongue, th there's a spice there. Um, which then develops into that clove thing that you're getting on the nose, it appears. But there's a, there's a lot going on there actually. Um, on the tongue, you have the so the sweet honey and a little bit of spice, which doesn't actually translate into very much the spice until you swallow it, and then on the finish. The clove comes from before, and the clove actually lifts as a, f from on the palate where it's subdued. You just get that sort of spicy note. Once you swallow it, then the clove sort of comes to the fore. It's almost as if it's being suppressed by by the sweetness. Now, I'm just going to take that again because it's quite complex. What's happening between the mouth and the finish? 
is really interesting because it goes from here to here quite quick. You, you've got sweetness and a spice and then it changes quite quick and the spice comes out and the fruit develop. there's a development in the sort of fruit and it's that sort of transition point that's quite quick. Yep, again, <laughs> it's kind of like a, you know, like Nasai Goreng, you know, you know, the, the Indonesian where you've got the sort of peanut, peanut um, rice dish, you've got the sweetness, but once you bite into the peanut, it kind of go, it changes really, really quick. Well, it's kind of like that. I'm not saying the taste of Nasai Goreng, but it's that, um, sweet to nut to spice and it, it it's not necessarily a smooth development it goes but it's quite interesting um i like yellow spot i've always liked yellow spot um truth be told out of the three of these is probably my favorite so far out of the family um i give green spot eight out of ten uh, Yellow spot, I like. I, I've always liked it. In terms of taste, I would I'll put it in front of green spot, but it's more expensive. And um, does it warrant an extra point for that, or does it? Well, yeah, I'll I'll give it an eight and a half. Um, and I'm kind of being a bit generous there, if I'm honest. It would be nice. It'd be nicer if it if it fell through um, and developed in a more steady manner. I like the flavours of it, but they just go a bit too much for me. So, we'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. Um, if I'm being honest, I'm giving it 8.5 just to put it a little bit above green spot. Just a little bit above green spot. But, that's the mark. Uh, so, 8.5 out of 10. So, folks, stay safe and don't forget, wear your masks and stuff when you're out and about um, and take care of everybody and stay safe and uh, I'll talk to you, well, I'll talk to you soon. For me, it'll be a few minutes to go and um, prob probably go and have a wee pee, if I'm totally honest, and then come back and, and we'll do Red Spot and you'll see it whenever I get it uploaded to, to YouTube. Okay, folks, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.